Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Sakthivel, and in this video, we are going to understand why we want to use Playwright when there are hundreds of tools in the market for web web automation, right? So this is a very important question, and I want to cover that in detail. So, so let's get started. So what are what are the different possible tools um, that 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 acts like competition to Playwright? One of the first one is Selenium. Selenium has been for a very long time. It has large user base uh, it supports multiple languages uh, and then the apm uh, which is for mobile automation mobile app automation um, is also using similar uh, selenium api so if you want to automate native apps there is there is only one good tool uh, out there that is apm even if you want to use for javascript or typescript web driver io is also built on uh, you know apm so 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 this is the one of the main advantage of using selenium um, and then it's to be honest, Selenium is not so easy to write Selenium code because Selenium is really good if you want to drive your web apps. But then the time taken, normally the time take to you know automate at least fifty test cases is huge when compared to other other uh, tools that are available in the market, especially Playwright. And then there is a wrapper called Selenite which is built on top of Selenium. It solves almost more, most of the problems that uh, what Selenium has. Uh, even though it is not being used as much as Selenium, but it's really good. And I also have playlist on Selenite, and uh, only the Selenite is is competent enough to to you know compete with Playwright. Uh, so so it has really good wrappers. It has a lot of really good wrappers. Um, it has a lot of other good functionalities that you can leverage. It can help you to write easily. Uh, understandable, readable, fluent code. It also supports mobile app automation. We also have a wrapper for um, APM, and it's the one of the biggest problem is uh, it depends on Selenium. Though it solves a lot of other problems like time out issues, null pointer exceptions, uh, and stuff like that. But it's still dependent on Selenium. If Selenium um, project is is let's say if people don't support Selenium after like one or two years, Selenium will not also will not exist. So um, the third tool that I want to talk about is Cypress. It has a very good, uh, in fact, um, decent user base. I, it att attracted a lot of traction. Uh, but the only, only main problem it has is it only supports uh, TypeScript and JavaScript. Um, and then we also tried Cypress in our uh, you know, office project. And then it didn't really turn out well because, um, you know, the the... Uh, in Cypress, there is no async await, um, and it is not so natural for developers to to write code in Cypress. Uh, uh, you know, they feel like it's completely different from their um, uh, ecosystem. So, um, not not the testers, but the developers will feel somewhat lost when writing the Cypress code. So, if you are trying to implement in your project, and then you expect developers to contribute because it's written in TypeScript or JavaScript. And then they not feeling comfortable because it's it's not so natural for them. Um, it doesn't make any sense. And the biggest drawback about Cypress is it's, if you want to run your test in parallel, you need to pay for pay for it, right? So and then the plugin culture, like if you even want to use XPath, right? You need to you need to add a plugin, and and you know this is this is the main problem here. You have to add so many plugins, and you need to remember all of them. And you also want to make sure if some some version mismatch is there. You need to understand which one is causing problems. So that's that's the biggest drawback of Cypress. Um, and then uh, the, the tests are also kind of little flaky when compared to Playwright, but you know not as flaky as you get in Selenium. So, uh, but then coming back to the Playwright, uh, it supports uh, not all the languages by Selenium, but it supports a decent level of uh, languages like TypeScript, JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, Python. Uh, and then it's it's built and maintained by open uh, Microsoft as an open source project. It's it's super fast, supports parallel execution of the box. It has brilliant toolkits with it, like Trace Viewer, uh, Playwright Inspector, Code Generator, um, Video Generation, Screenshots, and all that. It comes so naturally, like you could emulate devices, you could emulate uh, location for browser. Um, so there are a lot of other features that that helps Playwright to be one of the top tools. Again, the architecture of the Playwright itself is very simple, and which which lets to run your tests in a much faster rate, right? 
uh, there are other functionalities that it has like fixtures and all that but we will cover them in the upcoming videos but for now uh, playwright is seems to be the clear winner and if you want to use uh, is there any tool that is uh, you know that can compete with playwright i think selenide is is one of that um, selenium is if you if you're trying to compare selenium and playwright definitely the playwright going to win the race because of its um, you know, speed and the uh, ease with which you can create a test, but then Selenite solves a lot of problems what Selenium has. Um, so you could you could have if you are looking to write your code in Java, you could use Selenite. But then if you are trying to look your write your code in JavaScript or TypeScript, I think I will always go for Playwright. Uh, yeah, so that's all about it. But <clears throat> but there is also one more thing that you can understand. There is something called as uh, ThoughtWorks Tech Radar. Okay, if you are not following this, ThoughtWorks is a good service-based company that uh, that has a team that analyzes all the upcoming tools, uh, frameworks, techniques uh, that's coming into the market, and then um, they tell people whether you want to use it or not based upon their experience. For example, here, uh, this is the latest ThoughtWorks Tech Radar, and it says, for example, if you notice, um, whatever in the hold, which means there is a tool here. It, it they're telling we are trying to assess it. And then we will let you know how this is going on. Uh, don't don't use it as of now. And then assess is thing like they are assessing few few tools uh, now. For example, they are assessing uh, Spring Monolith, um, Semantic Kernel. I do not know what is it, but there are there are a bunch of tools there that is in assess period. But if you notice here, once you do the assess, they will try out in their project and see how it goes. But then um, if you notice here in the adapt section, which means they completely recommend using Playwright as a tool for end-to-end -to -end automation. They tried out in different projects and then they feel this is one of the very good tools that you could use it for your, um, in your projects as well. So that's why, um, you know, Playwright is really good. You can also see other other uh, stuffs in the tool section. For example, the sync, which is the static analysis uh, code, uh, security scanning thing, uh, which is which is adopt, given an adopt rating, which means organization can go ahead and then um, you know start using it. So this is one of the uh, you know I'm not saying just because it's here you have to use it, but then these people have spent a lot of efforts on understanding about all these tools, analyze all these tools, and then given the rating. You can you can again go go ahead and see uh, you know why they recommend this tool. For example, um, by using this Chrome Dev protocols, you know Playwright offer new features, whatever Playwright uh, submit patches to this process, whatever. Um, and then it auto waits. And uh, again, the important thing is Playwright supports auto waiting, which is not there in Selenium. Um, you know, browser context, which can help you to see, uh, simulate scenarios like um, Uber cab booking, where the where you could have one context where uh, that simulates the uh, Uber driver, and then the another context that can uh, simulate the end customer. So you could you could you could even simulate these kind of scenarios and then automate chatting between them and all that stuff, which is very complicated in case of Selenium. So uh, it, it opens up a lot of, lot of opportunities in the web automation arena. Um, it, you can simulate notification, geolocations, uh, dark mode settings, like it's not a big deal, but geolocations and simulating notifications are all really cool. Um, again, uh, lazy loading. Again, if you notice, they have clearly mentioned our, our teams consider it to go to test framework. And some cases are migrating away from Cypress and Puppeteer, which is exactly what we did in our organization. So Playwright is definitely top on the list. If you are still not uh, learn Playwright, I highly recommend to start learning uh, Playwright. And then I have felt so much of uh, time saving because I start to use Playwright. I hope this video is useful. I will see you guys in another great video. Until then, Tata, baby from over there.